Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It On. Let's go loot upstairs before we interrogate these folks. Try to get to the bottom of this mystery. Hmm? Alright, Hamlin, get to work. Off I go. Safely assume that all these are locked as well. There are a ton of recipes in this game. I await at once. I keep expecting to find more redundant recipes and they just keep surprising me. <laughs> at once. I'll start with the servants before we speak to the Duchess. I know Duke Kjarvaller didn't try to kill the king. I mean, I know it in my heart. I guess that's a good start. A statement about his character. Hello. I won't say well met, considering the circumstances. I'm the house cook. He calls me Cookie. Do you believe the Duke tried to assassinate the king? Nah, my lord. Nah, way. But that man could certainly massacre a roasted beef. R. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion of Duke uh, Kjarvaller? Fine man. Good appetite. I've seen him take the lion's share of a leg of mutton all by himself. Was the Duke acting strangely around the time of the attempted assassination? Yes, maybe so. He's asking after certain kinds of sweetmeats for his supper. Stuff I hadn't ever had cause to prepare. Said they were... They was aphrodisiacs. Ah. Huh. Riddle me that, eh? So sweet meats is actually another word for candy, in case you don't know. Uh, that's all for now. Sure thing. Come around again when the Duke is back. Maybe you can get sped. Off I go. The Mrs. hates when I use the term sweet meats for candy. I am maid servant Amaria. Her ladyship's helpmeet and confidant. You're wise to consult me. A very little happens within these walls that escapes my notice. <laughs> well, this happened outside these walls, but do you believe Duke Kjalvaller tried to assassinate the king? Never. He's a good man, and too old to be some skulking assassin. Are there any other servants I should question? Most of them know as much about what's going on as that doorpost, except the scullery maid, Frick. Frick. Her mother have a sneeze in the middle of naming her. <laughs> now what's special about her? There's something about her that Duke finds especially fascinating. You know if you saw her. It's her knowledge of the nuances of the artist Rand Dorden's Red Period. Now where is she? She stopped showing up for her duties after the Duke was arrested. Make of that what you will. And I don't know where she lives. I don't want to know where the less fortunate live. I imagine it's dreadfully sad. Was there something between her and the Duke? Yes, of course there is. That's why I mentioned her. Sweet Talindia, you need an illustration. You scoff. Such things can be quite valuable if you know the right buyers. A setting aside the scullery maid. Yes? Has anyone new been hired recently? No, not for several months. Have you noticed anyone suspicious about the place? Unfamiliar tradesmen? Or delivery boys, for example. Well, our Chandler has a terrible, terribly odd smell about him. Makes you wonder if he works as a tanner on the side. He's a regular, known him for years. Well, thank you for your time. Anything for her ladyship? Alright, let's speak to her there? ladyship. Hurry it up, please. I'm Duchess Caraballer. You may call me your ladyship. I know why His Majesty sent you. So let's begin. 
Allow me to extend my condolences, your ladyship. We'll try to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. Thank you, my dear. Do you have any idea why the Duke would have tried to kill the King? He didn't. That's what I believe. What was your husband doing the night of the assassination attempt? He... He must know he went to the castle. He told me it was an emergency, but naturally he wasn't able to discuss matters held in confidence with his majesty. But just because he was there doesn't make him an assassin. It's obviously a tragic mix-up. Did your husband carry a blade? Y yes It was a fancy dagger he wore in his belt, sometimes. But it wasn't for fighting. He wasn't wearing it that night. He only wore it for military ceremonies, or executions. Was your husband acting strangely on or before that night? Like he was having hallucinations, or perhaps he had been drugged? No, 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 nothing like it. He was his same old stodgy self, as constant as the north wind. He's a good man, you know. Ask anyone. His Majesty suggested Duke Carvaller is in the employ of Darren Gould. As all Yarengal lost its collective wits, my husband is no traitor. The only thing he cares about is the prosperity of the kingdom. Hmm. Let me think of this more. Of course. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do. I will lead. Alright, the cook was a little more talkative than the servant, so we'll ask him about Frick first. Or not. As you say. I don't know that there's anyone else I can speak to. Go check upstairs one more time. At once. They said to continue asking around the house for Frick. But there's no new dialogue options with At any once. of these people. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, there's more options here. <laughs> uh, yes? Was there something else you wish to ask me? Like, could your husband have been bribed or blackmailed into the assassination? Bribed? No. Look around you. We lack nothing that could drive a man to take such a risk. Not to mention the murder of a dear friend. And the Duke has done nothing to make himself vulnerable to blackmail. He's one of the King's close advisors. It's disgraceful how His Majesty is treating my husband. What was Duke Kjalvaller's opinion of the King? He worships the man. If anything, he fawns on His Majesty too much. He's like a boy chasing after a knight he's made into some kind of hero. What's your opinion of the scullery made Frick? Ah, that one. Competent enough, and I suppose I should be thankful for that. What do you mean? My husband has a soft spot for, uh, a big bosom. He picked this girl out himself one day while wandering through Greybark Square. Where is she now? No idea. Now that you mention it, she disappeared right around the night my husband went to the castle. Hmm. Yes, yeah, she didn't attend to her duties the next morning, and hasn't been back since. Was there anything suspicious about her? Yes, her suspiciously big... She was just a drab girl from the slums. <laughs> uh, what in Yerengal would Duke Kjalvaller be doing at Greybark Square? Well, hmm. You see, there's a certain herb he needs for a certain problem that can only be acquired in the lower class areas. 
And you don't think that you don't think she and your husband were special friends? Hmm. I would answer that if no. I don't think they were. The Duke never strayed, even as a young man. And I think of him with a servant from the slums. Ugh. Let me think on this a bit. Of course. Off I go. That's right, there is that one building in Greybark Square called like the Maid's House that was barred previously. So I assume that we now have access to it. At once. At All once. Right. I await your instructions. I'm listening. Not sure what that pathing was supposed to be up there. <laughs> well, let's quick save before we make our way inside. Sounds like his little office rocker. <laughs> you, stay away from that girl if you value your miserable life. <laughs> Come save her then, hero. I await your. I shall okay. not yes. flag until we prevail. <laughs> I'm listening. No one stands against steel. Yes? Palmerius, shield me! I fear neither pain nor death. Hmm? Alright, nothing to it. Let's go and loot her home, then we'll speak to her, make sure she's okay. I'll be right back down. Don't mind me, this is pertinent to the investigation. <laughs> yes? Ah! Sweet mother, if you hadn't come when you did, I'd have... I'd have died along with them. Who are you? What happened here? I am Frickamel. I used to be a servant at the Duke's Manor. These... they killed my parents and the Duke. That certainly is a wrinkle. Duke Carvaller. Yes, they came to kill the Duke and... and everyone else, as you can see. But who are these mystery assassins? I don't know, I don't know. What does it matter? They're all dead. Wait, the Duke is under arrest at the castle. That can't be him. It is him. We're... We were in love. We're planning to run away together. To the Fantastic East. The two of us. Until we heard news of the attempt on the King's life. The Duke was accused, and there was some muddled rumor of his arrest. He's been in hiding with me here ever since. Hmm. What a bloody business. Alright. Listen to me, please. Your lover, Duke Kjallvaller, is dead. But there's another in prison at the castle. Someone who looks exactly like the Duke. I don't understand. That is his body right there. Anyway, what difference does it make? 
I've lost everything. I guess I'll go with number one. You want the Duke to be remembered as a failed assassin. A traitor against the crown. Against Ismerald and everything he stood for. That's what will happen if you give in to your grief now. No. No, of course not. I couldn't bear it. What must I do? There will be a trial for the assassin. His majesty wouldn't tell me when. It could start at any time. Come with me now and testify about what happened here. That is all. Yes, I will do it. I must do it. Let's get away from here now. I don't ever want to come back. I admire that silver tongue of yours. Well done. Thank you. I've invested heavily into it. I don't care who your father was. There is nobility in you. I never doubted it. I await your instructions. Alright, guess we're gonna go straight back to the king. Give him the rundown on events. At once. Also, I briefly thought we were going to be in trouble against those cultists or assassins. Because he managed to crowd control three out of five of my party members. I was like, oh no. Then they managed to get beat down by my wizard and my cleric, so. At once. That was pretty funny. At once. When the retro Duke Kjallvaller was discovered standing in His Majesty's private bedchamber, the accuser's looming blade in hand, about to strike, when our brave liege interrupted the foul deed. The overwhelming evidence leaves no doubt as to... Yes, Lord Espin. Step forward, please. Hello. Acting as my trusted agent, Lord Espin was dispatched to Duke Kjallvaller's home to secure further evidence against the traitor. Lord Espin, please share with us what you uncovered. A big chunk of dialogue. Your Majesty, during my investigation at the Duke's residence, I questioned several members of the household, and their responses raised my suspicions that something devious was afoot. A very good. What precisely did you find? Wish there was a space 
between the dialogue options. Make it a little easier to read through them. And the... <laughs> All right, option five gets a little intense. Uh, let's see. Uh, the clues I gleaned from those conversations led me to Isselbright's dire slums, where it was rumored the Duke's secret, much younger lover, made her home. Ah, uh, yes, he's a little bird out of harm's way. It's no one's business anyway. What secret lover? Who? We must name names if we ever intend the nobility to mend their debauched ways. Fascinating. Pray tell. What did you find in this forbidden love nest? Alright, option three. The most curious detail yet. A coterie of robed villains had killed Duke Kjalvaller. The real Kjalvaller. And the scullery maid's parents too. The duke had been hiding out at the parents' hovel to avoid arrest for the failed assassination. I intervened, but was fortunately able to save the young maid's life. An obvious falsehood. The man standing right there. What new treachery is this? Oh, thank goodness. A righteous bit of work, my friend. Now perhaps justice can be done. They're not quite as slippery as they think, eh? Well, who's they? <laughs> uh, Lord Espen, I confess I don't know what to make of this testimony. That is Duke Kjalvaller right there. I've known the man my whole life, or thought I did until the night he appeared in my chambers. Now, young woman, help you shed some light on this confusing tale. Do you concur with Lord Espen's account? Yes, your majesty. What Espen told you is true. Duke Carval and I were planning to run away together. That is why he was with me at my parents' house. I loved the Duke very dearly, but whatever the wags may say, I insisted on remaining chaste until he left Duchess Carval. Then the assassins came. The Duke and my poor mom and dad were slain without mercy. And if not for Espen, so would I have been. Uh, that's Lord Espen to you. It says it right here, but she didn't voice act Lord. Hmm. Let me think on this a moment. I believe you, Lord Espen. Yes, you've done a great service to the crown. But I confess I'm still struggling to understand. I... It is though something clouds my mind, my thoughts scattering before I can grasp. Wait! If, as you've said, that isn't the real Duke Kiavalo, then who is it? What is it? <laughs> Silence, fool! There is nothing you can do to prevent the fulfillment of the final pact. So it is foretold, and so it must be. King Velianric's rule is over. Chaos will reign in his stead beneath a moonless, starless darkness. Unknown since light first banished the void. Chaos will reign. It's around this time all these royal guards should be stepping in with their great swords and long swords and cutting this guy down. What? Of course, we're standing right beside him, too. I shall not I flag await your instructions. We prevail. Off I go. Yes, I'll make it. Yes. I'm listening. I'm listening. What is your wish? I'm always ready. A beer would be nice. Yes. From the shadows. Go ahead. What do you wish of me? Go ahead. Uh, let's go and do vigilance next. We'll find a solution. Oh, she's under attack. What do you need? I'm always. Are you certain? If her run away if she can. 
And... I'd like to get marching powder out if we could. That's the wrong spell. Who has it? What next? Oh, she does. We'll find a solution. Let's see. Your time will come. Nice, she's being chased by everybody. <laughs> Ready to serve. Alright. Up a healing mist. Yes. Just keep having Viala run around and avoiding this guy. There we go. Alright, spiders. I'm digging the music. One, two. Hmm? Alright. Job well done. What in the name of? Your Majesty, they must understand that Darren Gold did not send the Dukes a simulacrum. Crown face is a much more serious foe. Yes, you are right. You've been right all along, Lord Espen. Uh, I mean, one's a little too... sycophanty. But two seems like we have like this repertoire that we don't actually have. I'll just go with one. I live to serve your majesty. Give the crown's thanks for your great service, Lord Espen. Now tell me, why did you so fortuitously decide to return to Isselbright? Oh, didn't mean to actually select that, but let me go ahead and read it. I come with the offer of an alliance with Rillo, your majesty. Since Darren Gold has balked at the terms you offered, it would be wise to ally ourselves with the Eastern Empires. Of course. Good work. But my viziers will see to the details. Though you doubtlessly deserve a long rest after your labors for the crown, because you have shown yourself most worthy of my trust, I must ask that you return to the Garden of Delights and secure this new alliance at once. All right, I'll ah, see what I can do. Espen. Whatever you say. All right, let's loot these bodies, and then I want to check in on my other companions before we head to the Garden of Delights. Let's see if we have any other quests. Go ahead. I mean, looting all the uh, the royal guard in front of them. I'm listening. I say dark packed binding. Minus twenty percent to depressive effects resist and arousal resist. Minus three to focus. Plus one to charisma. Grants mind break two per day. This bracer bears the inscription of the cult of Rothgore. It bestows a sense of absolute confidence upon the wearer, in exchange for their absolute loyalty. As the original bearer of the pact was defeated, the bracer now awaits another mind to overtake. Well, that's the trick. Go ahead. We won't let it overtake our mind because we have Soraka. Oh wow. It's the first item that actually gained benefit once we removed the curse. So add an extra 20% uh, to strain and pain resist, 
I would now have two, uh, plus two to focus, plus two to charisma, plus one to intelligence, plus 10% to bargain and persuasion. And it still grants my break two per day. I await your instructions. Pretty sweet. What do you need? I'm ready. What next? What do you wish of me? Yes. Hmm? Hmm? There? Alright, let's get out of here and go meet with our companions. Well, we'll speak to the ones that are currently in our party first, and then I'll go meet with the other ones. At once. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just go to the tavern at Market Street, and we'll call the episode there. And the next one, we'll speak to all the companions in our party, we'll go around and speak to all the other companions, see if anyone has new quests for us, or updates of their old quests. Because Biala has been mulling over that book for quite some time. And I would assume that she's made some progress, at least. Also, the king should be a little scared of us now, since we just made mincemeat of several of his royal guards right in front of him. At once. Granted, they were probably mind controlled to some extent, so maybe they weren't bringing their full skills to bear. At once. All right, so we're going to call the episode here. In the next one, we'll speak to our companions, uh, both in our party and outside of our party. Two of them should be parked in Greybark Square at the uh, Stumbling Steps. So make sure to visit them as well. I await your instructions. But for now, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.